the Greek island of Santorini has declared a state of emergency uh, all the way through to the 3rd of March yeah. at this stage. Residents are on alert due to a swarm of earthquakes that have become just more and more intense since January. Now, earlier I spoke to Dr. Athanasios Ganas, who is the research director of the National Observatory of Athens and the president of Geological Society of Greece. He explained the phenomena behind the earthquake swarms. Uh, an earthquake swarm is um, a release of seismicity above the average for an area with a particular character where the occurrence of earthquakes are uh, many events, a lot of events, without a clear main shock. Right. So we have a lot of earthquakes within a small period of time. Mm. We may have thousands of earthquakes, for example, where the events, the magnitude of the events would be small, let's say three, four, up to five in, in most cases, but without a clear main shock that is differentiating the sequence to a pre seismic and a post seismic as i've read too that these earthquakes started in january but they've become more intense uh throughout the weeks so we've just had uh, a 5.2 magnitude quake hit on wednesday are you expecting the intensity of these tremors to increase even further as the weeks go by uh, we have two scenarios. Um, we think the most probable scenario is that uh, the swarm will continue without any greater event. So the events will be at the order of five. It will continue like that between, between four and 5.1, 5.2, mm. and so on. So this is the most likely scenario because we have associated the occurrence of this swarm with the migration of magma along the Santorini Amorgos um, uh, rift, mm. which is um, also um, uh, hosting um, large faults, tectonic mm. faults. Therefore, uh, we have also uh, considering a second scenario, and mm. which is the rupture of a big fault causing a magnitude six. Mm. This is the reason we advise the government on the uh, urgent meeting that was held by the prime minister uh, last Sunday to take preventive measures right. and um, close certain beaches on the islands and uh, restrict people, uh, circulation of people and cars on uh, dangerous slopes. Mm -hmm. This is all preventive measures against um, a, a likelihood of a, a, a large shock uh, reaching six at the magnitude uh, scale of Richter. Mm. You mentioned magma there a little earlier. We also know that uh, Santorini is, uh, well, the region is also home to two volcanoes there. Is there a likelihood of an eruption from any of these two uh, volcanoes, perhaps even uh, a tsunami, if the intensity of these quakes continue? Uh, from the volcanic point of view, the volcano is active and we have detected uh, 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 an uplift of the caldera since August 2024. Mm. The amount of uplift is small, uh, three to four centimeters. So this is ongoing since uh, August, as I said. Mm. Uh, it doesn't show much uh, more deformation, so we think that a, a case of, uh, let's say, a threat, excuse me, of an imminent eruption is unlikely. But we're monitoring this um, the, the deformation there day by day, also the seismicity. Mm. 